imanga kanga. Kolek tu ako lugut kang eksilab lugi kinguneb tingnu. Kolek tu apta kang eksip karawa ingdegosya nuna. Sudi kano inyonek put iloani. Anglan, sukrawat, utukat kulayak tuwan. Ang kasultat, tatkam na pabig tuwan damit pa. Okay, well, my name's Nick, and uh, I'm a tester at E-Line Media in Seattle, and the project is Never Alone, Kisima Inge Chuna in Nupiak, and it's a game that's being developed in tandem with Eline Media Seattle and the Cook Inlet Tribal Council's Upper One Games. Uh, the Cook Inlet Tribal Council represents seven different tribes in Alaska and they wanted to create a for-profit uh, uh, subsidiary so that they can become self-sufficient and they decided that the best outlet for for investing was to attempt to create a video game uh, based on a Arctic, uh, Arctic legend named Kanuk Suyuka. Never Alone is this game, this legend about this girl and her fox who venture out into this never-ending blizzard and attempt to save her village. Uh, so that's that's the, ba the basis of the game. The game is an atmospheric puzzle platformer. The couch co-op is the best way that you're going to enjoy and solve puzzles with your friends. So uh, one, one person is uh, controlling the girl and one the fox? Yeah, so in the single player, the, the player has the option to switch between the, the girl Nuna and the fox uh, independently and solve the puzzles on their own or two players play the couch co-op and solve the one player plays as fox and one player plays as Nuna. I've been heavily inspired by Limbo. Limbo was my first idea playing this. Is this, uh, is this correct? Yeah, this, uh, I mean, it's good to be like compared to all these great games such as Limbo, you know, the, the platform genre in general is the most accessible so that parents can play with their kids. You know, kids can play together, or even adults that enjoy playing indie games like this can can play and have fun. I noticed a very special art style in the cutscenes. Can you tell me more about this? Yeah, so the art style is really cool. So our artist and our creative team traveled up to Barrow, Alaska, in the northern northernmost part, and they they've studied uh, the native art and the, the different style, and so you know the narration. The narration style in the game is done in what's called scrimshaw, which is uh, whale bone carvings and ivory carvings that tell stories. And so we took that and we've animated it as our cutscenes for, for the game. And the game is entirely narrated in the, the language of Inupiaq uh, with English subtitles and then eventually localized subtitles. Uh, you told me that uh, this kind of game already generated interest with other parties that, uh, that might want to do something similar in the future? Um, yeah, so the uh, idea is for Eline Media to reach out and create world games. Uh, we've been approached by tribes in the Amazon, Hawaii, Siberia. People are already, people are already getting the buzz of this pr in the press and are wanting to create more story-driven cultural narratives. Uh, what do you think uh, people are going to uh, take away from the game? What are they going to learn? Uh, well, in our game, as you play through the game, we have our own cultural insights that will become unlocked as you play through. There's about 30 different videos that will be unlocked and they will be videos of different tribal elders, storytellers, artists, and so on. And they'll talk about their experiences growing up in the Arctic Circle and telling these different stories, so. Is it like uh, the story you need to know to understand the culture? It's an old legend told by a storyteller, Nasruk, and we've, li we've licensed from his family the, the rights to st tell this story. And so there's just all kinds of different folklore and uh, legends within, within this game that the player will encounter along the way as they venture out into the blizzard to find out what's, what's behind all the, this never-ending blizzard. When is Never Alone going to be playable? Uh, November 4th, it will be released for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC on Steam. And uh, how, how do you spell it again in the original language? The, uh, it's uh, Kisima Ingichuna.
Okay. And it means it translates to I am not alone. Okay, thank you very yeah. much. Yeah, thank you. Ashin Tamna Ilin Avitual Lasinikut.